What is going on, everybody? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. What's going on, everybody? I'm your host, Slackers, bringing you our next matchup in the Ultimate Smash Bros. DLC tournament. So, if you're new and you're stumbling across this going, what the heck is this crap? Um, well, it is a tournament that me and my community put together for fun. This is for fun. We have all sorts of different characters, and I'll jump into that in a second. But it is a tournament me and my community came up with of 72 characters that potentially could be in Smash Ultimate through the means of the DLC Fighter Pass. Now, we have first party, third party, anime, uh, assist trophies, spirits, characters that are just confirmed by studios. So we have all sorts of different, you know, variety of characters. This is for fun. So if you don't like one of the characters, don't vote for him. So that's what this whole thing is. We vote each day on the channel. I upload one matchup from this tournament. And then down in the comments, we vote for one of the two characters that you'd rather see as a DLC character in Smash Ultimate. If you like both of the characters for the day, you are allowed to vote for both. That is totally fine. But you only get one vote. Stress that. Only one vote. But, um... Otherwise, the rest of the rules, it's a double elimination tournament, meaning a character has to lose two times before being officially eliminated. Uh, if there's ever a tie in the vote, uh, I will flip a coin on camera, best and fairest way to break the tie. And then uh, voting-wise, each matchup only stays open one week. That way we keep getting results, keep getting new matches, and the tournament keeps on progressing very smoothly. Uh, and if I didn't say it, you vote by typing the name of the character you want down in the comments, if I didn't say that think I did, but just in case. Anyway, with all that out of the way, we get to go over the results from last Friday, which was Shovel Knight taking on Captain Rainbow. I forgot who it was. <laughs> uh, but yes, Shovel Knight and Assist Trophy. Again, tournament is for fun. Uh, just because they might ha not have the best chance doesn't mean you can't vote for them. If you still like the character, vote for the character. That's what this is. Uh, in a way, it's a little bit of a popularity contest. Uh, you know, kind of. But uh, the results, uh, so obviously Shovel Knight being an assist trophy and Captain Rainbow having one game that sold like 23,000 copies and it only came out in like two different territories, not the greatest. So the surprise, the outcome shouldn't be a surprise. Shovel Knight ends up winning 33 votes to 17, so Captain Rainbow is still not terrible for, uh, for a loss for you know a character that a lot of people really haven't even heard of. So a lot of people, I've seen a few, a few people in the comments that are like, yeah, Captain Rainbow... It just looks like another Captain Falcon in a different suit. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, really does. But um, Captain Rainbow is now officially eliminated. That means, well, Rainbow's gone. <laughs> uh, so Shovel Knight advances. Congrats. But this is the loser bracket. So one more loss for Shovel Knight. The Knight is gone. But not yet. Not yet, at least. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's go over the match for the day. Impa from... Yeah, Legend of Zelda, Hyrule Warriors, if you want to put it like that. Taking on Mono Kuma from, I hope I pronounced this right, Dangron Po... Oh, I messed that up. I had it, right? I had it. I had it. Uh, the Danganronpa. Tell me that was right. Tell me that was right. All right, but uh, Mono Kuma, the little black and white possessed little animatronic teddy bear thingy. I think we know who it is. But um, anyway, let's jump into the match, all right? First up is Impa. Big, big thing. I don't care who you are from Legend of Zelda. You, if if we get a new rep from Legend of Zelda, just don't have it be another iteration of somebody that's already on the roster. We already have 10 links. We don't need any more links. I I don't want to tune Zelda. I don't want to tune Sheik. I don't want to tune Ganondorf. I don't want nothing else. Give me a fresh face. Give me somebody different. Somebody that will bring something unique. Somebody else from the Legend of Zelda series. Impa makes a pretty decent fighter. A lot of people on the build-up to Smash Ultimate, you know, before it was released, were thinking Impa could have been an Echo Fighter of Sheik. I mean, play style movement-wise, I guess I can understand that. Um, but uh, the truth is, you know, what kind of character would Impa be? Uh, Sakura likes to try to stick true to the actual version of the character, and Impa kind of has two different versions. Impa has the one you see here, which uh, we'll call the Hyrule Warriors iteration of Impa. But you also have the elderly version of Impa, which a lot more uh, people I've come to find out think that's the truer version of Impa. So uh, it, it, it kind of come down to Sakurai's call if that were the case. And if, if Sakurai put Impa in the game as a DLC character, I have a really hard time seeing that he would go with... Uh, <laughs> I don't think he would go with 
an elderly version, unless it's a joke character, maybe. Uh, still be different. It wouldn't be another Link, so I, I'll vote for that. But um, so Impa definitely, if we go with the Hyrule Warrior iteration, definitely has a bit more of a unique uh, take for a move set. Obviously, got a bigger the sword again. Yeah. Oh no, sword user. Oh, who cares? Get over it. We're gonna there's gonna be more sword users that get added into the game over time anyway. So gonna happen anyway it's still a different face it's a, it's it's a character from the zelda series that people know it's a re reoccurring character so um definite i think sort of a fan favorite uh impa traditionally in in my tournaments has done pretty decently actually i believe the very first tournament i did impa ended up beating out hayachi in a match which i was totally uh surprised on so i mean there's definitely a fan base there's a following well, you could say that about pretty much any character, but Impa's, you know, big name. People know who it is. So, I mean, come, you know, focusing, looking at it from a fighter pass standpoint, absolutely, people would buy this. It's a first-party character, so Nintendo doesn't have to go out and pay money for the rights to third-party characters. They get to promote somebody from within their own company, their own games, which is really not a bad idea ever. Um, so, I think uh, overall, Impa is actually would make a pretty awesome character. I wouldn't mind Impa whatsoever. I would not mind Impa whatsoever. Of course, then, if you're like, well, if Zelda gets a new rep, uh, rep what about characters such and such, such and, you know, of course, you're going to talk about Skull Kid. Yes, he's in his trophy, we know. But what about Skull Kid? What about Midna? What about Tingle? What about such and such? You know, there's so many different possib possibilities. Um, I know a couple of them are actually in the tournament, but for in this case, Impa, uh, it's a character... People know about name gets thrown around for Smash Bros. Uh, uh, speculation here and there. So well, we'll see what ends up happening. Do I think Impa would uh, make a good character? Yes. Do I think Impa has a good chance for the DLC? Probably not. Let's be fair. I don't, I don't think so. But hey, you never know. I'm not picking it. Nintendo picked it. So uh, let's go on to Impa's opponent here real quick. Very, very strange one. Uh, this was a character before I did this tournament. I knew... Nothing about it. Didn't even know this character existed. I'll be honest with that. Monokuma from the Danganronpa. Did I pronounce that right again? I hope I did. But Danganronpa, Monokuma. Um, through this tournament, which I'm glad I've done all these tournaments, I've got to learn about characters I never even knew about. And I'm kind of becoming a pretty... I'm not saying I'm a big fan, but I am a fan of Monokuma and just kind of what I've learned and how the moveset would potentially work, uh, the whole vibe around the character. I think Monokuma would kind of fit in Smash Bros. in a pretty decent way. Uh, you'd have sort of a unique style. Some people have told me it'd be kind of like a Lucario's aura sort of like ability, like, uh, you know, higher... Uh, your uh, Monokuma's damage would be the better, you know, the more damage Monokuma would put out uh, in return. So I think that'd be kind of a unique uh, function for like the entire character, not just like a move, but uh, for the whole thing would be pretty cool. Um, again, I don't know insane amounts of knowledge about Monokuma, but I, I like the character. I like the design. Uh, I like. Uh, the potential that the character has. And the more that I kind of like look up Monokuma, I keep finding all these, you know, the links to like other message boards and, you know, smash boards, uh, game facts, uh, just all over the place. Uh, people that, you know, have made all these cases for Monokuma to be in Smash Bros. And I think it's actually, you know, the character's starting to grow on me. I think potential there, or the potential is there to be a character, no doubt. Uh, the more I keep seeing this, the more I'm kind of thinking could be a character people might be sleeping on. Uh, you never know with, uh, you know, which direction Nintendo might take. We got a, no, we got Joker. We already know that. But where is Nintendo going to go from there? Which route are they going to take? Are they going to continue going with a bit more mature characters? Which I think Monokuma kind of is. Somebody let me know in the comments. But I think it's kind of more mature. Or are they going to go with more cartoony Nintendo vibey characters. I still think uh, Monokuma has got a decent or a good vibe that still gels well with Smash Bros. And that's I definitely think you can make it fit. Absolutely. So for me, this one, uh, I think it's a little simple. I like Impa, but I don't know. I just I guess I'm a bit more fascinated with the potential Monokuma does have for a character. Plus, it'd be a new series and. 
you know, I'm all for having new series coming to Smash Bros. Uh, plus, well, third party. So there's uh, there's that as well. So yeah, I like the character personally. I like both the characters honestly, but for this one, I'm voting for uh, Monokuma. I just like the I don't know. I just like the way I envision the character working better than, I guess, Impa, if I'm going to put it that way. I, I suppose. That's how I'm going to put that. So, yeah, Monokuma gets my vote. So, yeah, let me know who you guys got down in the comment. You're going to go Impa? You're going to go Monokuma? We'll end up seeing. But uh, that is going to... <clears throat> Excuse me. I thought I was going to sneeze. Nope, I'm good. All right. Uh, but that is going to wrap up this one. So, uh, sneak peek for tomorrow, Saturday. Looks like the matchup for tomorrow will be game 60 will be, ooh, Ninten against everybody's most speculated character, Erdrick, or maybe it could be Steve or it could be Banjo. Anyway, one of the top three characters most speculated on to be in Smash Bros. for uh, DLC, Erdrick from Dragon Quest. So we'll see how that ends up playing out. Um, yeah, Erdrick and Ninten, that's tomorrow's matchup. And then the results for tomorrow will be game 54 will be, ooh, that was a good one, Octoling taking on Lara Croft. We'll see how that one turns out tomorrow, but that is it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, not much more to say. Do I have another video coming out today? No, I had one earlier. Uh, the patch notes. If you haven't checked out the patch notes and you want to, it's on my channel somewhere. <laughs> it's on my channel somewhere. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I look forward to catching you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.